Hello everybody. So I hope you hear and see me well and we can continue or begin our two days webinar. Uh, it's uh, Thursday 23rd of February and the year is 2023 and it's great to present to you today's webinar because I have some pictures from the scene of the crime, so to say, in a good sense. So yes, in January, I had the chance to go to United Arab Emirates, where we have our second uh, demonstration and certification center, and then where we have our, well, first track, 400 meter track already ready, certified, and up and running, the Tropical Unicar is, is up and running there. And now we have two more tracks coming up and both of them are 2.4 kilometers long. So they are quite, uh, quite a bit longer in distance, about two kilometers longer. So we, it's a great achievement. And as I mentioned, two tracks, both uh, at those uh, lengths. So um, yes, so soon I will show you what I saw there and then and, and, uh, what is coming so it's it's absolutely fabulous so you are we are at the right time at the right uh, at the right place uh, in right place at the right time so to say and, and doing the right thing by helping a um, company financially by supporting it by becoming investors as well as sharing this information so yes, so let's continue. My name is Michael. I'm from Estonia and I've been Skyver presenter for a uh, for few years now. And about four and more years ago, I heard about Skyway technology and I fell in love immediately to it because, um, well, you will see uh, in today's webinar why. There are most of the reasons I have brought out in our webinar which are also main reasons why this company will achieve great success in the future. Well, it has achieved, of course, at the moment as well. But we investors, we are looking that when we will, when them, when the company can return our investments, or when can we get the return for our investments, and um, and of course for that the company has to go uh, have have to be profitable at first. And uh, the second version is to go to this to the um, well to go through IPO to the stock market, and we'll see which one comes first. But when we get profitable, that means, as Dr. Antonioniski, who is also the author and creator of this technology, has said that we have multiple signed contracts already on uh, many continents around the world. So possibly in upcoming years, we should have commercial tracks built already, which serve people or goods and the profits also will arrive to the company then. And when the profits come, then 20% uh, of those profits will be divided between all the investors who have invested, which we can come as um, at this moment as well, because we have, well, the process is divided into 15 stages. So we are at the 14th stage at the moment. So we have one more stage to go. And it's very, very possible that within this year, within 2023, uh, the chance to become an investor of this technology will diminish because, well, mm, the necessary amount of, of uh, necessary sum is already collected. The shares are divided. And of course, then there will be another projects, maybe some address projects or, or new technologies where we can invest and get part. But at the moment, all the investors will be sharing the whole world, so to say, because wherever in the world Skyway will be built, the profits will be divided between the investors of this technology. So, yes such an beginning so but all right let's go to united arab emirates now mm. the completion of track structural lifting stage at the u sky test and certification center so now 
following slides are done by myself in January. So this is basically the road now. There is this um, Sarcha American University on the left side. And when you come from the university side, then there is this roundabout, which you see on this slide as well. And on the right side, there is the Innovation Center facilities. So let's start. This one on the right side is the main, um, well, the Innovation Center, the United Arab Emirates Sarcha Innovation Center main complex uh, house, so to say. Uh, and well, but the territory yeah, is, is very big. And now the next buildings are the new ones, which I also have uh, showed you. In, well, when they were under construction, I've showed you in previous uh, presentations. But the first one here is cargo and passenger terminal, and the other one is container terminal um, on the back side. So basically, there will be two tracks at the moment. Mm. And I will show you the next build. Yes, so this is the first track. The, its rails are already lifted to the higher mm, dimensions, to the second level, so to say, and from the beginning till the end. But behind there, you can see the supports of the container terminal. So you can see they are, mm, well, placed in um, much more closer to each other because the way which it has to hold is much heavier because we're uh, talking about containers here. And on here, on the, on the first line, here will be also, well, cargo mm, models, but which are lightweight, uh, up to 50 mm, tons and 50,000 kilograms. And behind there is uh, beginning from 50,000 kilograms, basically. But yeah, here you can see it's, it's a really, really long route. So I drove all this um, route about three kilometers here 2.4 and on the right side you can see this this supports there behind the behind the first track here is they are all placed also in total length they are fully placed there just the rails uh, have to be implemented uh, as next step but the first track structures um, rails are lifted which is absolutely amazing news so, but let's see now uh, what the container depot will look like uh, at the Sarge testing center. And here are some pictures how it will look like. So basically, basically this is a track structure which has not yet, uh, which, which does not have yet uh, rails implemented or installed. And then that's the next step there. But this is how it will look like. But uh, I will show you some pictures as well, how the rails were installed on the track four, the same track structure, which was next to the road, mm, which I drove myself and then uh, took a video from there as well. But yeah, here you can see how they look like. So basically the rails have to be detached to each other throughout the throughout, um, length of track uh, uh, track itself and then they are going to start lifting it uh, step by step as you can see here starting to raise them with these grains so this is this is really really heavy work here are the supports as you can see they are more mm, more massive because they have the whole very strong way there very heavy way and here on the on the downside, you can see that the, the rails are already on the center. And then the behind there, they are lifted as well. So that's that's how this step by step lifting works. But great news is that the, the certification process of the intermediate support for the fourth test track was successful. So congratulations to all of us. And certification basically is a proof for the company, for the well investors, that everything is going according to the plan. Everything is uh, placed as it should be by the local standards, by the local laws, and also um, security for um, 
companies or basically for their clients, future clients to to understand that it's a safe, it's working, and it's a real deal. So that's why a certification process is very important. But all right, let's uh, move on to the part two now. And I will explain you simply, shortly, seven reasons why Skyway is here to stay uh, and, and why it's much more better than, yeah, I can say better in, in many different angles or from many, di from many different angles like um, the cost or, or the efficiency or, the, well, there are many, many these sites. So I will show you all of those. But yes, welcome to the new age. This is 21st century technology. And why Skyway? Also, you can see from this picture that it looks very beautiful. It's very neat. It's it's sharp and tiny. It's not so massive as as, the, as many other technologies that will serve this similar purpose on the on the seven the second level. But uh, with Skyway, we have also this chance to use both sides of the track structure so we can mm, go above side as you can see this can be for example express line which is a fast line up to 500 and more kilometers per hour and then below that there can be well unicars or unibuses different models which go up to 150 kilometers per hour per hour and then has multiple stops on the way for example we can use this these varieties basically but first, well, first point to understand and to well bear in mind is that we are very innovative. This is, as I mentioned before, 21st century technology, all the design, all these uh, different um, constructional parts like uh, motor wheels, derailment systems, um, batteries, all those are made by our own um, people, workers who work for the Skyway group of companies and therefore we own all the patents as well. So here the here it is um, one side why it's innovative. This is motor wheel here, derailment system. So basically it's like a spider which clings to the rails. So whatever happens to it, even if it crashes or somehow rails get spinned or upside down, then it stays there and holds holds strongly to the track structure. That's that's very good side. Yes, one picture from our first certification and demonstration center in um, Marina Corca, which is basically located in Belarus and, and uh, near Minsk. So there is our first first uh, track structure and I myself have been there as well. I have seen it all. I have had the chance to ride with these awesome well models so it's it's really cool but all right now let's uh, let's cut through the rails and see what's inside so basically uh, there is a rail head so the rail basically the metal rail which is filled with something and that something is a bunch of pre-stressed strings so this is the main one of the main parts why we can also use supports not well nothing very closely to each other but we can even put them about one to two kilometers from each other it all depends of course how high we will lift the rail as well we can go up to 100 meters but basically these pre-stressed strings are very important uh, aspects um, of this technology itself so but basically there are priest strings then it's filled with special filler to reduce the noise to make it more solid stronger and uh, Dr. Anatoly says that the, the well the lifespan is about 50 to 100 years of Skyway well technology or the track structures so it's it's a very very long time yes so let's look further. Yeah, here it is. This is Skyway EcoFest 2019. So this is where I was presented uh, myself as well. Mm, present myself as well, sorry, about the language. And and I had the chance to took many videos, uh, photos there. I, I even got the chance to ride with this unicar up there, about 12 to 15 meters above the ground. 
which was which was really really awesome yeah so whenever echo fest is coming again i definitely recommend you to to come to to echo fest and then see everything with your own eyes to understand this technology to feel it and then what's more awesome there is this museum or, or one well department which is called skyway museum where is all this well from the beginning of of the road of skyway so to say when dr Nutsky had made his first sketches up until today uh, present day well achievements and there are also names of the first investors in the well in the ceiling basically so that's that's also truly awesome and many of my well known people have their names also written there in this uh, concrete uh, ceiling it's it's really 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 awesome all right let's uh, change the slides so second point is that we are ecological and ecological in many ways and this slide is truly awesome here what i'm showing you this is of course animation at the moment but basically this the same technology will be uh, displayed in in uh, united arab emirates as well so this is basically the sea container and at the moment there are many many well uh, mm, discussions going on about arctica antarctica antarctica where uh, where there is a snow and cold climate conditions and how do you well and there are a lot of minerals rocks and so on what to mine and then then very 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 many all these uh, natural resources but uh, the problem is transport there at the moment so skyway also is giving out uh, our solution to those uh, well organizations who, who work there and and might be interested so we have a well if there is a problem sky we can solve it but yeah another aspect why we are ecological is that we run fully on electricity uh, electric uh, electricity so we have our own batteries we have our own well charging systems and so on so we do not produce any co2 emissions and that's very important because the world is going toward um, CO, co2 neutrality as we can see in europe they plan to plan to ban um, well the production of fossil fuel cars by 2035 so that's about in in 11 years and then and, 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 and then we have totally the new cars which come out are fully on elect electrical compounds so therefore we are already cutting the edge and getting getting uh, getting well ahead of our competitors and so on but uh, of course well if you think about the world and uh, even the developed countries we have this situation where um, almost each person who has the ability to drive a car has this driving license will get a car for themselves because well the econo economy is, is is in such a such great levels that almost every person can buy some kind of car of course it depends on on the quality of the car later on but there are plenty of those so therefore constant problems constant new challenges arise because we just cannot tear down the old buildings and then well, widen the road and so on to replace replace the buildings and then we have also the underground systems metro stations or the subways so to say and then therefore in develop most of the developed countries we have covered the, uh, the underground level then the ground floor and we still face new cha uh, challenges and therefore and uh, the only possible or reasonable way is to go to the second level yeah and uh, to describe my words in japan there are these men with hats uh, called pushers and their mission is to push the last people on the on board basically so they could fit 
fit in. And then in about five minutes or seven minutes, another train or um, subway comes um, and takes the passengers on and, and the same system continues. But with Skyway, we have these terminals, basically stations where normally people do not go, but there are plenty of, of so to say, extra models. For example, if, if unicars go on, on a specific tra track structure, serving people, taking them to, from one point to another, from one city to another, then nearby there is a station where there are about, let's say, 100 more unicars, which are just waiting there. They are either in maintenance or charging or just uh, stand in standby mode. And whenever, whenever the n need for, for more models come, so during the rush hours, for example, in the mornings, in the evenings, then those models which are parked in the, in the terminal, in, in that station, those will come from there and start serving people as well. So this is like a um, on-demand on demand, uh, technology, in other words. Therefore, it, it, it's Skyway is capable to serve more people in the same amount of time than uh, subways or the metro stations. So that's, that's another amazing, amazing story. And uh, ecological aspects are also very mm, strongly connected with wind, um, well, with cutting, cutting the wind, basically, wind resistance. So with Skyway, the, sh the shape of the body is made so perfect to cut, to maximize the wind cutting, uh, well, aspects. And then therefore the wind resistance goes much lower. Also, we do not have any screen effect occurring. So basically wind can go, wind, wind can flow freely beneath our models as well, because we are elevated to the second level. But with cars, there are these asphalt roads or whatever material the road is made of, out of that causes screen effect. Then the shape of the body, well, is, is is basically only the sports car have this uh, shape of, of the cars which which cut wind very very well but even they will get lower results than than skyway gets all right then all these well problems which occur on the first level either it's it's necessary to construct or, or new roads or then in United Arab Emirates for example in desert areas there are strong winds and then after after the windstorm there are special well um, workers who will clear the path again because uh, it's very well in in richer uh, Arabic countries there are many sports car and so on so they have to get through this uh, these uh, masses of sand, so therefore it has to be cleaned. Also in, in colder climate countries, when it's heavy snowstorms, then the commercial trains are so, so light that they can go off the rails. So therefore that's why we need this heavy machinery, heavy trains, which will clear the path, as well as with ships. In, in, uh, in Arctic countries, there are special ships which will clear the path, which will break the ice, basically, so the cargo can move. Yeah, here are some pictures of Skyway. It's just so beautiful to look at it. Then when we, well, basically want to construct new rails, railroads, then we have to clear the path from the beginning to the end, let it be the forest or houses or, or whatever there is. It has to be, well, it has to be taken down. Then we dig about five to seven meters below the ground, fill it with special filler, and then we can place the rails. Mm, also, there have to be this security area, asphalted, um, about two meters on one side of the track. Then there are fences and so on. So this, this is very, very expensive to, to construct, and we need massive amount of work to clear the path as well. And when we take think about well, this, for example, this um, European countries or uh, or Nordic countries, which have these canyons and, and mountains, but we need railroads, we need transportation systems 
to go from one point to another. Therefore, we need roads. And another massive area is this mountain explosion area where billions of, of uh, dollars are well paid out to workers or to that to the area to maintain the roads, to construct new roads, to explode explode to mountains and so on. So this is this is really really expensive. But with Skyway, we can go directly from one point to another. We can go over the mountains. As I mentioned, we can go up as high as 100 meters. So, of course, it's much more expensive than going, well, about 10 meters above the ground. But it's possible. And we can, well, save a lot of time and energy by doing that. Because we do not have to construct road directly to the mainland, but we only need supports. And if it's high enough, this uh, as uh, our Skyway technology, then the support supports can be either in in five hundred meter distances or one kilometer distances or so on. So that's that's very very great news. And rivers, lakes, also possible to to go over them. Then the third point is safety. So Skyway is safe is third and uh, more than 90 percent sa safety comes from the fact that we are elevated we are on the second level so we do not collide with any first level obstacles or vehicles cars or bikes or pedestrians and so on so that's uh, that's the main reason why it it's much more safer then of course we have this automated uh, intelligence system integrated uh, basically, it's 360 degrees and interior as well. So whatever obstacle comes in the way, it, uh, the models immediately stop and uh, and um, constantly gather information from surrounding. And if nevertheless anything should happen with, for example, with Unibus, let it be its battery or mo something with motor wheels, so it has to stop, it cannot mo move on, then we have many similar models on the same track structures just a little bit behind or a little bit further away so they can come and they have all these models have these specific um, elements in the nose and in the back uh, back end so those will attach with each other and they can either pull or lift uh, the broken model to the station or to the maintenance and whatever reason that can be but the previous uh, version is not available it's not possible uh, there is only one model per track, for example, somewhere. Then we have these systems, as you can see here, um, placed under uh, the seats. So basically we have to take them out, uh, attach them to the roof. There is this hook and place the, well, the straps around our waist and we can lift ourselves softly down. So that's also, so we have thought about everything and that's absolutely amazing. So when Ever I'm thinking about uh, or talking about uh, safety aspects, I always like to show this slide because this is how transportation with trains look like in in uh, in some of the countries in the world. Now the fourth point is that we have our own models and our own products, which are really really great because we just do not show some pictures to the people, but we have really developed them already. They are running, most of them are certified by Russian standards or Belarus standards. Um, uh, Tropical Unicar is all already certified uh, by United Arab Emirates standards as well. And many other models are transported at the moment to, to Sarcha to start developing them there further and then to start certification processes and so on. So the catalog is, is, is very, very wide at the moment already. Here are some pictures when I was present in Ecofest 2019. And there on the left side, up uh, upper side, left side, there you can see how how they demonstrated as well that uh, if, if something happens with the model, what, what then what can we do? Then they demonstrated the same same uh, situation there. Yes, and um, we are not only well uh, developing models to transport people, but as well as cargo, as well as sea containers, 
and today it's only it's possible to transport sea containers with three uh, three transportation systems mainly those are trains ships and trucks but the average speed for them is about 20 kilometers per hour because well trucks have to do these mandatory stops there is traffic and uh, trains and ships are slower by by well by the technology itself but here are some pictures of skyway and we can go up to more than 100 kilometers per hour both sides of the track structures well on that specific track structure we can go only below side downside so to say in, in hanging mode but uh, on an another track structure which i showed you before there we can go on the upper side as well yes here it is we have already tested it as well with smaller sea containers but but it's already already reality yeah it's just so so brilliant but all right let's finish our two days webinar we had so, or we have uh, two or three more points to cover those i will cover next time i try to be more quick quicker in my speech uh, talking so to say but uh, yes to, next time we will look some uh, new news we will see what uh, has happened um, what what's new also i recommend you to watch dr antoniski new year's speech which was uh, well which uh, Skyworld community recently published. It has the subtitles in, in multiple languages, so most definitely take a look at it in your back office. But here, uh, Skyway, or well, sorry, here is Dr. Anton Nitzke and Dalai Lama. When uh, Dr. Yunitsky went to Dalai Lama residence, and Dalai Lama said that uh, this project is very needed in the world. It won't be easy path for you, but eventually you will be successful and the world really, really needs your technology. So therefore we have a blessing from Dalai Lama as well. So that's, that's amazing. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, the next webinar takes place uh, in two weeks on 16th of March, the same time. The topic is the same. We talk similar um, categories. It's a little bit more than today but we will cover many many important uh, technological niches which which is important to understand to get a better glimpse of this technology but let's see if there are any questions yes when will another echo festival takes place all right thank you dima for the question next uh, echo festival takes place most uh, certainly this year but in United Arab Emirates, not in Belarus anymore, but in United Arab Emirates. So stay tuned. The, um, the board members said that the information will be available to everyone at the right time. But when exactly, I'm not sure yet, but whenever this information will be released, I will share this with you as well. But all right, no more questions at the moment. So I thank you. Uh, I thank everyone again for watching this webinar and I hope you you got something new out of it if you have any questions you can ask them freely make sure to come to the next webinars and then stay safe let's make great choices let's share this information and let's be happy and positive everything will be successful eventually all right goodbye everybody and see you soon